For those of you unaware of how swag and cool I really am, I had such an interesting start of becoming a content creator. See, I really kick-started my whole content creator career by being a Josh Dunn impersonator of sorts. I say impersonator, but it, it was kind of more of stalker. It was stalker. I was a Josh Dunn stalker. And I had this account called Tiny Dunn because he was Big Dunn and I was Little Dunn because I did everything he did. And it became, um, pretty successful. I don't want to brag, but within the fandom, it was kind of popular. And because of this success, uh, I really felt enabled. Uh, you people really just gassed me up too much and I felt like this behavior was acceptable. So I thought today that maybe we could go down memory lane and review some of these videos that I was making. There's some of you out there that still know me as Tiny Dunn. Every once in a while I get those comments that's like, are you the Josh Dunn girl? Yeah. I'm the Josh Dunn girl, and I will forever be the Josh Dunn girl. I just cannot escape my legacy, the nightmare that I've created. And no, for real, I mean, this is gonna be like a lighthearted video where I poke fun at my teenage self, but Tiny Dunn has truly brought some good things into my life. I've met wonderful people, I've made wonderful friends, I've had some amazing experiences that I couldn't have even dreamed of before this account. So I do owe a lot. It's tiny down. Let me just put that out there, okay? I'm not ashamed of my roots, okay? We're just using it for YouTube content. <laughs> So without further ado, let's dive into Tiny Dunn. So just to kind of make sure everyone's caught up to speed, I can't play this because this is a drum cover of Hometown, which is a copy written song, and I don't want my channel to get nuked. But this was essentially it. I would dress like Josh. Sometimes I would play a 21 Pilot song on the drums. Sometimes I would use some form of like Josh Dunn audio and pretend that I had his voice. Anything Josh Dunn related, I wanted to replicate that and like this is where my drumming career started that's what's crazy because I started playing the drums because of Josh and I think for some reason I wanted everyone to know that which is why we're here and I just want to put it out there I have gotten better on the drums okay this is going to be a theme that I'm going to be struggling with this entire video I need to be nice to my younger self but I know it's not going to happen this is my friend Seth so that's cool. <laughs> it's just us pretending to have a conversation at a fake concert. I think now because I actually do gigs and I'm actually a drummer who performs and writes songs and plays with bands and all that cool stuff, I don't really feel as big of a need to kind of put on these fake scenarios. It was like some form of fantasy to pretend that I was Josh, cause it's like, oh, he's cool. He's on tour, he does these gigs. I'm gonna try my hardest to make this cute little thing look cool. And I'm, I'm talking about Josh. See, this is where the drumming becomes an issue because what I'm doing there, that mess, I would never do that now. And it's painful to look at. I'm going to switch to the next video. This was when, again, I can't play the audio, but this was when I created the outside music video. You know how they say that Clancy is the only one that can seize? This is evidence that that's not true. Tiny Dunn is also an exception, and if anybody's an exception, it would be Tiny Dunn. God bless her. Oh, here I'm Tyler again. Wait a second. I go as for Halloween? Uh, probably Tyler. Really? Durden from Fight Club. From Fight Club. Cool. Thanks. I'm probably gonna go as like a nice set of Tupperware. Uh, you know what? I might be a backpack. I was Tiny Dunn. I was known for being a Josh Stan. You know, Josh was where I got most of the fame. I did dabble with Tyler. Okay, that did not sound right. I <laughs> I was sometimes dressing as Tyler. Okay, and some of you people just kept this going. And you push me to the limits of insanity because there was I, there was actually a couple of comments that tried to say that like if tyler's voice was more feminine it would sound like mine and i kind of sound like the female version of tyler and that gassed me up so hard you guys enabled me so much and i'm blaming you for this not me <laughs> not me i'm not the crazy one you people are crazy for encouraging this i also got comments that i looked like uh debbie and josh's child that was like a serious topic for me i took that to heart and you guys drove me to insanity <laughs> Yo, the effects are going crazy on this, dude. I went all out with the editing. Look at my Funko Pop wall. 
Yeah, Layton, you're so cool with the Funko Pop wall. <laughs> that is very much adequate. That's the thing, like, the people liked it so much. I was like, I guess I have to keep doing this. That was me back in my horse show days. I had the ribbons on my wall. Starting around three years old, up until I was like 17, 18, I was showing American Saddlebreds. I was in saddle seat. And I actually had three world champion titles. You heard that correctly. I am a world champion. Three times, I was one of the best horse girls in the world. Let that sink in. <laughs> I used to be a world champion athlete. Now I'm just an idiot on the internet, dressing up like Josh Dunn from 21 Pilots. We used to be a proper country. <laughs> They're just a skeleton unicorn and Pennywise in the background. And if you squint really close, there's a Dan and Phil poster in the back. Past Layton, you are an interesting creature. And God, I love you. Tyler again, this was like uh, when I went to Big Fun. Everyone thinks that I live in Ohio. I don't live in Ohio and I don't live right next to Tyler and Josh. Let me put that on the record. I don't live in Ohio. I don't know where that started. I think it might be my accent a little bit, but baby, I don't sound like I'm from Ohio. You have to admit, younger me is charming. She's nerdy. She's a little weird weirdly obsessive but like she's charming can't really ask for more than that um, what's this one follow this band so feverishly there are a lot of bands out there that just kind of have casual fans you guys have rabid fans why do you think that is i would i would say it's mostly because of josh dunn's jawline i mean that's why i'm in the band why do you think that people baby girl, follow the baby girl layton i'm gonna hold your hand while i say this you do not have a jawline. <laughs> Look, we soft as heck. We're so soft and squishy and baby faced, but like, whatever you say, homegirl. Um, this was before I got red eyeshadow. <laughs> Eventually I did. I'm fairly certain that that is just like lipstick. I just like took a lipstick and put it around my eye. So that's why it's like shiny and so liquidy and not eyeshadow. But you had to do what you had to do. And Tiny Dunn is a trailblazer. Finish the sentence. I can't make it through the day without Tyler. <laughs> if you could be any superhero, who would it be? Tyler Joseph. A little kiss on the head. I used to be in Tyler's lane starting out. I used to be a Tyler stan. And then I became a drummer. And then I became a Josh stan. I think a little bit of the, the Tyler stans coming out there. <laughs> a video that makes it look like Josh is in the room with me. <laughs> cut the cameras, cut the cameras. What was I thinking? Like, seriously, like, I think this was a trend to kind of just like edit that like you're hanging out with celebrities, but like, that's crazy. And the fact that the audio is hopelessly devoted to you I actually was hopelessly devoted to Josh Dunn, for better or for worse. Oh, Tiny Dunn, you're so silly, but I love you. Yeah, this is a Tyler one. Yeah, I think it looks kind of funny from the side, but it looks cool from the front. What's up, Antarctica? You can't be a 21 Pilots fan without dressing insane. And this right here was certainly a look. Imagine me showing up to the Met Gala like that. Y'all would vote me best dressed. I want you to look at how happy this baby girl is because Josh Dunn uh, finally noticed her. And I put it on my Instagram. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I I don't I don't I can't function right now. Finally, I know you can't, Tiny Dunn gets noticed, but not on here, on Instagram. <laughs> but holy wow! Thank you, Josh. I'm glad I'm glad you liked She's my so recreation. Cute, I can't speak, but thank you. Absolutely no way this just happened. <laughs> yes way, girl. I can't function. So I posted this pic. She's cute. All right. She's cute. Younger me is cute. She's so full of life. I can't say the same now. So who's actually doing better? This is when Crank That Frank uh, noticed me. 
The cash is a hell of a deal. I was expecting like a very miniature, tiny, tiny, tiny Josh on a tiny, tiny drum set. Not disappointed, but that's not where I thought it was gonna go. I disappointed. Crank that Frank. How can I? How can I live with myself? I remember thinking we made it, guys. We made it to the big time. Crank that Frank knows who I am. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna end the memory lane journey there. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, Crazy Obsessive Teenager Me. You know, she is lovable. She's a little weird, she's a little quirky, but we love her. As I said in the beginning of this video, um, it's funny. Looking back now, it's like funny to watch these videos and like wonder why I ever thought it was a good idea. But by making this silly little account, it gave me enough confidence to do things like this YouTube channel. To actually be a musician who does actual gigs at real shows and writes actual songs and plays with other musicians. And had I not been Tiny Done, I'm not sure if that would have ever came to fruition. So through all of this cringe chaos, there is some beauty. I understand now, as hard as I try to rebrand, there are always going to be people out there that uh, know me as Tiny Dunn, and surely there are worse things to be known as. So I've just accepted. I will forever be the Josh Dunn girl. But because I was the Josh Dunn girl, there had been some pretty cool things to happen, so I can't complain with that. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you in the next one.